it too, that we, when we have it, when we have that thing, whatever it is, or when we do that act or that behavior, in that moment, it's a very short moment, but in that moment, all other asking ceases. Right, y'all? Y'all got something? Everybody think of what that is. Y'all can share it if y'all won't. You ain't got to, though, but you can, because y'all know for me, my thing is dark chocolate. So in that moment, when I got me some real good dark chocolate, not that fake dark chocolate, y'all. I'm talking about the real stuff. In that moment, all other asking ceases for me. So everybody think about what's that one thing that you know, it gives you like that shot of serotonin and dopamine, and in that moment, you feel good. For some people, it can be shopping, like making a purchase, or it can be... Um, some food it can be ice cream it can be something with sugar it can be that coffee right everybody has something though right y'all so let me talk a little bit more about that so in actuality and y'all remember what i said about i got this natural high in actuality here's what i got a high a high is any state of consciousness consciousness above your customary level of awareness right y'all so we know what a high is it's like any state of consciousness above your your customary level of awareness right so therefore, it can be even with emotions. So therefore, a person living in fear, moving up to courage is a high. So if you, if you are a person that regularly lives in fear, when you experience courage, that's a high for you. So y'all even think specifically about your emotions, right? So a person living in apathy, and this is what we kind of see in our country right now. And this is so real to me and I'm observing it, y'all. So a person living in apathy, anger can be a high for them. Do y'all get what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like this moment of feeling this aliveness. And you said being in the midst of others' issues that don't have anything to do with them. Mmm. Mmm. I gotta I gotta hear more about that, sis. I gotta I gotta have you break that down for me. Okay. Let me just stay right here with this high. And so anytime it feels like you're being awakened, right, y'all? It's like this moment of awakeness. It's it's like this moment of aliveness. That's a high for us, right, y'all? So for people that live in fear, that moment of anger is like a, a bringing some energy up, right, y'all? So then anybody living in despair, fear is actually higher for them. So fear would even be better than despair, right, y'all? So y'all feel that? Or pride feels better than fear. So somebody would want to participate in pride. So y'all, let's think about this for a minute. And I, we got to bring this up because I think about this. So think about all the people that are Trump people right now. Think about how they're experiencing this sense of pride or this sense of anger because of the fear or the apathy that they regularly live in. So right now, Trump is essentially, his presence has essentially brought in something, a high for them, something that has been energizing. If you normally live in apathy or you normally live in fear, of course, this false sense of pride and this feeling of like anger where we got to protect and, you know, we got to protect our guns and we must protect this land that ain't even theirs. We got to protect something that's higher than apathy and fear, right? Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Okay, so I'm going to keep going. So even as we look at our emotions, we can look at we're always chasing a high. All right. So the high state that people seek by whatever means it is, y'all, whatever means it is, the high state that um, people seek by whatever means, in fact, um, in fact, this state that we're constantly seeking is in fact this state of consciousness within ourselves. Y'all, y'all know that we have that within ourselves to get to be naturally high. But here's the problem. If you're if we are spiritually unsophisticated, right? So y'all think about yourself. If we're spiritually un unsophisticated and we are in this context where we don't get the opportunity to experience our truest self, our true consciousness, we'll always seek things outside of ourselves for that high. Y'all, come on. I need to be quiet for a minute because y'all, I'm out here dropping free game. I'm out here spitting free game to y'all. Come on, y'all. Just sit and think about that for a second. Because this is what I was talking about in my yoga teacher training this weekend. The context around us really does not support us seeking our highest self. The context that we live in, say that. Come on, y'all. The context we live in essentially pulls us outside of ourselves to find the things that give us that high. 
Think about all the things that we get pulled to on a daily. And y'all hear me talking about all these distractions, right, y'all? But think about all the things that you're constantly pulled to on a daily that take you away from, take you away from this, this awareness, this experience field of your own consciousness. Y'all, come on. Oh, my goodness. And y'all know what else? Y'all know what else? Y'all, a majority of people are so divorced from their own state of pure consciousness that they don't even recognize it when they do experience it. Come on, y'all, y'all, listen to what I'm saying. Most people, because of all this outside of us, are so divorced from your own state of pure consciousness that you don't even recognize it when it does show up, right? You spend too much time identifying with these lower ego things, these lower ego states that are things around you, like thinking you need, you know, this, you need, okay, some examples, thinking that you need some drugs or some alcohol or a lover, a particular person or a particular teacher, like your pastor. You think you need all these things outside of you when it's always been inside. Y'all, I got to calm down. Mm. Y'all. Y'all, I gotta get to I gotta get to these clients. So let me say one more thing. So it's just all these things around us that have us believing that that's how we receive that high, that high that's really within us, right, y'all? So a negative self-image blots out the joyous brilliance that is the true essence of our own identity. So all these things create this negative self-image and have us chasing things outside of ourselves. And all that does, all that does, y'all, is block out, it blots out the joyous brilliance that is the true essence of our identities, of who we really are. And if y'all wanna get scripture on us, if we wanna get scripture on us, the kingdom of God is within, within you. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, summer. Yes. That's how you control the masses. And that's a whole nother conversation. I got some words for another day. But right now, y'all, I got to get to these clients and I want y'all to breathe through that because y'all listen. This is what we going to do. I am going to invite everybody to join me for the month of November and December. We're going to change some shit. We're going to get back to ourselves. We're going to get back to our pure consciousness. And so we're going to do a couple things. We're going to do another water challenge. And then I have a list of other things that we're going to do. We're going to Let's begin at the end. Come on, y'all. So what? It's the end of 2020. And you're going to stop talking about, oh, 2020 was this bad. 2020 was this. 20. You're going to let 2020 be uh, something to bring you to your higher, highest self. That's what you're going to do. So y'all, we're going to begin at the end. Y'all, that's it. That's the motto, right? Let's begin at the end. At the end of this year, the last two months, we're going to begin at the end. We're going to begin to get back to who we were originally created to be and this awareness of our pure consciousness. So when you talk about sis, when you talk about, dang, you got so much energy, we all about to have this energy. We all about to have this energy. Do y'all hear me? All right, y'all, we got to breathe. Mm, we about to breathe. So let's get, let's get our fingers ready, right? Rub your hands together, right? Rub your hands together. Come on, y'all, rub your hands together. Y'all know we do this. Come on, rub your hands together. That's that energy, rub your hands together. And then, then I want you to see yourself doing this. I want you to believe yourself doing this. I want you to see yourself beginning at the end of this year. Let's go, that's right, Essence, rub them hands a little faster, shoot. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what Samadhi is? S-A-M-A-D-H-I. Y'all listen to that word. That's a Sanskrit word and it's, ooh, I love it. So Samadhi. S-A-M-A-D-H-I, right? I want y'all to look that word up. That's a good old word. All right, everybody rub your hands and then place your hands right here. Y'all remember we did this? Mmm. Everybody notice your breath. Everybody notice your inhale. Everybody notice your exhale. Come on, y'all. So right here, here's what I want you to do, okay? I want you to see yourself and the true nature of you, this joyous, peaceful, fulfilling state. This is your true reality. This is our inner essence, right y'all? This joyous aliveness, this awakeness, right? It's a fulfilling state that is peaceful and joyous and we don't have to go outside of ourselves for that y'all. I promise y'all, we already have it within us. Everybody stay here for one more breath. So bring that to yourself. See yourself that way. Come on, y'all. Yes. So we're going to begin at the end. Let's start at the end, right? Let's begin at the end. That's what we're going to do. 
Woo! Everybody take a breath in and breathe out. Because there it is. There it is. So I want y'all to get ready because that's what we're going to do in November and December. We're going to start. We're going to join in with uh, Bruce Leroy. Y'all know my boy Bruce Leroy who do, does the 50-day water challenge. But we're going to take it to 60 days. So in November and December, we got 61 days. But we're going to take it November and December. And we're just going to change. We're going to change. We're going to change and get ourselves back to who we were originally created to be. Y'all with me? All right, y'all. I got to get in here with these clients. Quit trying to distract me, Piff, girl. Y'all, have a good Monday. Play some good music and dance. Hey, Tracy, sister girl. Y'all, play some good music. Oh, I got to tell you something. J. Miles, 150, baby. J. Miles, make sure you watch this so you see what we're going to do. We're going to begin at the end. And y'all, that's another one. We're going we gonna to participate in doing stuff, and we're going to go to J. Miles' page, and we're going to do some things with J. Miles in November, December special. And we're gonna do some stuff. Y'all, we're gonna get back. We're gonna get it, get it, get it. <laughs> I'm so pumped. I need to calm down. Y'all, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, y'all? Okay. 150. Y'all, J Miles ain't even recognized that. Hey! Okay. Oh, the word is Samadhi. J Miles. S A, you know this word, J Miles. S A M A D H I. That's what we're chasing. Samadhi. Okay, y'all? So, y'all Google that word. we beginning at the end. The end of 2020, we beginning, but 2020 brought us what we need to get so we can get what we get inside of us. It's all inside of us. Okay, y'all. <laughs> all right, y'all. I got to get back. I'll see y'all. <laughs> yes. Thank you, J. Miles. Thank you for spelling that. See y'all.